Good morning and welcome to our worship service. It's great to be gathered together in, our, in God's presence to receive God's grace and to express our joy and thanksgiving for God's love. We're grateful that all of you are here, but should this happen to be your first Sunday with us, I encourage you to take a moment to find the blue and white welcome card that's in the pew rack in front of you and to fill that out and return that in the offering plate. It's a way we can get to know you a little bit better. And if everybody could now take a moment to fill out the red friendship register and pass that back and forth across the pew as a way to get to make some new friends and and learn some new names. This is the beginning of the year. Some of you might have resolutions or some of you might be uh, led to have some new resolutions that might relate to your discipleship journey. And you'll see in the second glance today, we have a number of learning opportunities. Some are beginning again after taking a Christmas break. Some of them are brand new, but please take a look at this. I'm sure you're going to find a class and a learning experience just for you. Coming up on January 26th, the last Sunday of of the month, we're having our annual meeting of the congregation. That will happen at between this service and the 11 o'clock service. So it'll happen around 10.30 or so here in the sanctuary. Now, the purpose of this meeting is to receive the annual reports and the budget and to elect our officers, our new elders and deacons. So it's very important that all of you come to vote at that meeting. And then, following the 11 o'clock service, we're going to have a congregational dinner. And in addition to good food, we're going to see a video that's going to show us the highlights of our 175th anniversary year. We would like your reservation for that, and you can do that uh, in McFarland Hall uh, online and the usual places. And now we have a special message from Dr. Galloway. Well, I have some great good news, and I have some bad news. I'll give you the good news first. I want to thank everyone for your faithful participation in our 2014 stewardship emphasis, those of you who've returned commitment cards, and for your generous gifts to support the mission and work of Christ through this church. Now the bad news. The budget committee has been meeting this past week, and they have discerned that we need $300,000 in additional pledges to meet our commitments and mission and program and outreach in the name of Christ. We've had a remarkable year with the 175th anniversary. Uh, We have been through Advent and Christmas, a beautiful season, and we've survived the snow apocalypse. And perhaps we've taken our eye off the ball a little bit. So if you've not yet had an opportunity to make your pledge for the coming year, There are commitment cards, pledge cards in the pew rack in front of you. I hope that you'll give prayerful consideration to your commitment to the work of Christ through this church. The budget committee will be meeting this week to finalize our budget, so the time is now. Um, You may place that card in the offering plate later in this morning's service as an act of dedication. You may also make a commitment online and Commitment cards are available throughout the church as well. Bunny and I have found throughout our marriage that making a commitment to the church is an important spiritual act. It helps the congregations that we have been a part of use God's gifts wisely and know what they have and what they can anticipate to use for Christ's mission. But even more than that, it's been an important spiritual discipline to us as we think about how do we use responsibly the gifts that God has entrusted to our care? For truly everything belongs to the Lord. So I want to thank you for your prayerful consideration of this need. And I hope that on the 26th, when we gather for our congregational meeting and luncheon, that it won't be good news, bad news. It'll be good news and very good news. Thank you so much. Let us now continue our worship as we hear the word of God. 